Hey YouTube, what's happening? Happy Friday to you. Chris here. I want to bring you all an update on XRP BTC. This is going to be a fast one. I'm putting this on your radar more so for the longer term, but it's something that I'm noticing I've been picking up here. And what we're seeing is a bullish divergence taking place. So price has been going down, just steadily down since December here, about 23rd, 2018. But what's happening is while the price is going down, our RSI is actually making higher lows and going up. So we're going to dig into this a little bit more here, guys. If you like these videos, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Appreciate you all being here with me today. And like I said, that notification bell is probably going to be the best feature for you because whenever I see stuff on the charts, if I have time, I'm going to get it out to you the best that I can. Remember, I'm not your financial advisor. I'm here to look to the upside, the downside, and the sideways. We want to study this stuff. No one's perfect in the market. I don't have a crystal ball. You don't have a crystal ball this is about putting the odds in your favor and when you're wrong cut it as soon as you can when you're right let it run that's the name of the game so you know guys i just want to put this on your radar and you let me know what you think down low so price been going down here guys and what i'm going to do is zoom in here so we can take a look at some candles as well and look at this divergence all right so we've just been getting ridden here by this 20 ema this entire time we popped out of it about two or three times here and then we just continued to keep falling but what happened was we pushed down let me see here so we ended up pushing down to around 4,005 sats right here and our RSI at the time was around 15 then what happened was we got pushed continuously down guys and now we're at around 3,010 sats and our RSI is at 27 so even with this we're still in oversold conditions oversold conditions is 30 or less cryptocurrency space you can get very overextended i've seen rsis even on bitcoin around eight or nine so things can get really crazy it's not traditional but you just want to think about those things and put the odds like i said in your favor okay but we have a lot of work to do say we are to get some type of reversal here we're going to start looking at the candles we want to see some candlestick reversal patterns on good volume but we have to get back up above the 20 EMA, the 50, the 100, and the 200 day as well. Those right now are acting as overhead resistance to us. So if you're a more cautious investor, what you'd wait to see uh, ultimately would be to get back up above this 200 day moving average. But if you're looking for some more in the short term, term, you'd want to see us start having closes up above this 20 EMA, and then come up here and try to challenge that 50 moving average next. See that? Now, if we zoom into the candles and we take a look at what's going on here, remember this is on the one day chart. We have the potential, if we were to close today, how we are to have a bullish engulfing candle. The day prior was a spinning top, and then this here, we'd close up above the real body of this candle here. We'd basically engulf it, and that would be a good thing. But you want it to come on good volume, and we're not seeing a ton of volume right now. We're just going to have to wait and be patient. Remember, you always want confirmation, and you want to see follow through. That's very important, but the RSI is starting to turn up a little bit. Right there, you can see off the trend line. So, you know, guys, this is something that I just want to put on your radar. And typically, just to show you this, something else I was looking at. So, this fall, or our peak here, was May 14th, 2017. And we were in a downtrend until December 9th, 2017. And what I'm looking at is the time frame of these downtrends. So we can kind of put that in our favor and say, all right, you know, if it's been in a downtrend for nine months or six months, typically before we get another big spike, do you see how fast these turnarounds are? You can't even hardly go to bed, guys, without a turnaround so fast and spike so hard and then we fall again. So we need to know when to take profits. But this next one was from December 27th till September so about nine months or so there and then we had our nice little pump which is a lot of percent here and now we've had this fall since December into July so we're at about six months so you know we could start looking in the next few months or even you know in the next few weeks to see if we can get some type of reversal out of there and start making a move to potentially get back up above these moving averages especially this 200 day moving average here around 6,652 sats so we're up 3.86 percent right now I'm just gonna label this bullish divergence possible guys this is some for the long term I'm just throwing it out there to you. you let me know down low if you like these little videos whenever I come out and just show you stuff that I'm looking at let me know down low God bless each and every one of you. And guys, also look at this. I mean, this was in a downtrend 
for over a year here. This is what happens, and then they pump, so you have to be ready for this. You basically have to have them in your possession, start buying low, and holding them until you see one of these massive moves take place because they happen so fast. So take care, my friends.